When you think about communicating in this teenage brain that's really changing, uh, part of what you need to realize is that they, uh, they're, they're thinking through reasons and they're, they're trying out possibilities. And so, uh, so the, the thing that, that helps the most is, is space for longer conversations. Because sometimes they might say something like, uh, well, why is homosexuality wrong? I have some friends who are gay and I think they're great. And uh, you as a parent might think, go, oh no, my child is wandering far from God. Uh, what happened? And just respond with a quick response. The Bible says it's wrong. That's the way it is. Uh, but they're, they're learning to reason at this stage. And what's very important is to is engage in that reasoning process. Obviously, not, uh, uh, not lower God's standards, but start asking, oh, why do you think that way? Well, what are some of the reasons why your friends think that way? Well, what do you think will happen if they go farther down that road? Uh, well, God says it's wrong. Why do you think he says it's wrong? And part of it is helping, helping them learn how to use their, their newfound capacity to, to think so that they, along with your help, discover the answers and not just hear them and memorize them, which is what happens in the earlier stage. So parents need to have patience and, and a little bit of ability to kind of ride the waves um, going through that particular spot and inter interacting with their, their child's newfound abstract reasoning capacity. Uh, I remember a conversation I had with my dad when I was that age, and I asked him, um, should I go? There was a party going on. I was invited to it, didn't know if I should go or, go or not. And I said, Dad, should I, should I go to this party? And he just sat down and he said, well, um, what, what should you think about when you make decisions like that? What, what, uh, what kind of principles would guide you? I said, I don't know. And he said, well, let's start thinking. And he basically walked me through the process of how I would make that kind of decision. And then at the end, I, I made a decision, I, I made it well. Um, he, he could have easily skipped that and, and just gave me the answer without actually teaching me to find that answer myself and helping me develop uh, my abstract reasoning capacity. So that, that's just an example of, of tailoring to a child's developmental process.